Hello YouTube, it's been a while since we retouched on this channel. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys how I take image from looking like this to this. So as you can see, these are the steps that I took to edit this image. I first remove blemishes, frequency separation. I remove uh, also blemishes on the leaves on this particular layer. And then also I brighten or level the exposure of the image. And then I lastly add my premium skill lots on the image so that any further ado let's get to it so what i did is i first duplicate the, layer, uh, the original layer by pressing command or control j and then i use my spot healing brush here and then i took my time and remove the blemish so you just need to select the spot healing brush and then you brush over the blemishes you want to get rid of so the more you take your time the more blemishes you are going to get rid of and also don't forget if there are blemishes that are not blemishes maybe tribal mark or any mark that someone has it and people already know that person with that with that mark don't remove the mark leave that mark with, uh, uh, on that person because the moment you remove it people will notice uh, something strange on the image whenever the person posted it or something like that so the marks that uh, that are well known on the person, just leave it. But uh, minor marks that are, that are normally comes and goes, just take your time and remove them. Okay, not necessary just using spot healing brush. You can use actually, uh, you can actually use other options if needs be, like the patch tool. For example, if you want to uh, remove mark by the side of your model's face let's say for example this particular mark as you can see so you can just use your patch tool select it as you can see and then you drag so all these tools are just there for you to use when necessary and perfect your image so not necessarily using one tool but if one tool work for you for the particular yeah uh, for the particular image you are working for then fine just use one particular tool like the spot healing brush uh, spot healing what was the name <laughs> spot healing spot healing brush tool so if it's okay for the particular image you're working on just use it strictly use it and get rid of the all blemishes on the image as you can see all right let's go for the leaves so i'm just going to do it slightly let's try and, and avoid overdoing it All right, let's zoom out and see. All right, these are before, after, before, and after. Always uh, remove blemishes before frequency separation because excess using of uh, spot uh, removal tools can sometimes leave uh, minor spots on the face of your model if the blemishes on your model are too much. So, which means you excessively use the spot helium brush tool or the patch tool so at the end it will leave signs that you use these tools a lot so it's better to start by removing your blemishes and then you later do the frequency separation so that it will hide the imperfection left by the spot removal tools you are having all right i think this is fair enough Let's do before, after, before, and after. So after removing the uh, the blemishes, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to play our frequency separation action. What? Seems like I don't even I do not even import my frequency separation action. So always don't forget to check out the link on the description of my videos as you find the link to my digital store where you can freely download my retouching action so let's use the free ones as you can see and also there is my 70 retouching essential actions that you can purchase on my digital store for so for this particular image we are going to be using my free retouching action so let's erase the default action from photoshop and then leave my free retouching actions only all right so as usual our image is 16 bit and then we are also going to be using the 16-bit frequency separation action. So here what we are going to do here is we are going to zoom the area where it's reached 
of skin texture mostly you find the areas will with uh mostly the areas which you are with skin textures are area where you place your focus point when shooting your image so mostly i place it around the eyes or the forehead so let's use the forehead as is is the area with skin texture and then we take down our radius down we can also zoom out because this particular box here represents our image we can zoom out we can also zoom in so this area is having skin texture what we are going to be doing here is we are going to increase the radius until it reached to the point where we cannot clearly see our skin texture we can see it but not clearly and not too obvious so just keep it in between where it's not clear it's not too sharp so this is the uh, matter of instinct follow your instinct and make sure you are just there in between so 3.4 i believe it's okay not necessarily 3.4 uh, i can take it slightly down or slightly above 3.4 Point four, and it's still gonna work for me the point here is don't be too far from the point where you cannot clearly see your skin texture so let's go with the 3.4 so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to go over and select our mixer brush and then we uh, set it as you uh, as usual as you can see this is how I set my mixer brush the first icon here remain unchecked because if it's checked it's going to be dark and then, and then it's going to be having the foreground color of your mixer brush as you can see i change it to red and here is changed to red so we don't want any color we want the brush to be clean so we are going to be unchecking this very option here as you can see it's not transparent we don't have color on the mixer brush and then this icon here will be checked what this does is whenever you click and brush it pick a color and when you release this icon will make sure the brush is clean it's no longer having color after you let go your click and then here remain custom wet 30 load 30 mix 30 and then flow 30 and then our sample or layers will remain checked and then the next thing we are going to make sure our high fs layer is unchecked as you can see our image is slightly blurry blurry uh the point of blurry where we uh, added uh 3.4 on our uh, where, uh after we play our frequency separation action here uh, remember we uh, uh, we keep our radius to 3.4 where we cannot clearly see our skin texture as you can see the blurry is on the level of that f uh, 3.4 sorry is on the level of that 3.4 radius so don't forget we are going uh, we are going to make sure our high fs is unchecked and then we are selecting our color correction layer and then mixer brush here is selected we can zoom a bit and then we start mixing our skin using our mixer brush as you can see we are starting with the highlight areas and uh, always don't forget you uh, you mix your highlight within your highlights and then you also mix your shadows within your shadows and also smooth the transition between the highlight and your shadows as you can see so here is another shadows and then moving to the highlights and then areas in between are where the transition is we smooth the transition as you can see so we are trying to keep every bit of shadow or highlight at the exact spot okay let's do our before after before and after so let's check the high fs make sure you are selecting our color correction and then we move down you can see so just try and keep every bit of highlight and shadows at its exact area and then for the areas where there is a uh, slight movement or movement of highlight and shadows you are free to move your brush along with the movement like this side if you are, uh, if you are looking closely you find out the movement of the shadow uh, the level of the shadow along the movement is the same so I can just lightly also move my mixer brush along that level of shadow okay moving to the side of the nose as you can see so now that we already remove our blemishes wherever we uh we left uh we use our sp uh, spot remover to and left and uh, and it left the sign mixer brush will uh, get rid of the spot left by our spot removal tool so that's the benefit of starting with mixer uh, with spot removal and then you move on 
to mixing your skin using your mixer brush. Okay, I'm going down to the chain. Alright. Alright, let's take out our check back our high FS. And then we do before, after, before and after. You notice there is a slight uh, sign of a uh, spot removal tool over here. As you can see before, you can see it. So after the mixer brush, as you can see, it's been dissolved. So let's continue mixing. side of the nose just avoid making your brush to touch the areas like like the eyebrow the eyes the lips here the nose rail just try avoid using uh, avoid making a brush to touch it does uh, those areas do sometimes it's inevitable it should, it, should, uh, it should definitely touch no matter how but it's not something to worry about we can fix it later I will show you how so let's do before, after, before and after. I think we are good. So let's move to the neck and brush over the skin. I don't necessarily need to do much because the error is not in focus. So I just need to slightly mix the skin around the area. Let me zoom in the chin all right if you're learning as i usually say this is not something to rush it's something that you need to take your time and learn so you can't rush if you're learning it's something that you need to take your time understand the rules know how to, to uh, how to uh, abide by the rules how to use the mixer brush properly and then later you can speed up the uh the way you brush because by then you are probably familiar with the rules of using the brush so you can brush faster but as long as you are learning it's not something to rush it's something that needs time it's something that you cannot learn a day it's something that you that need practice of day by day so the more you practice the more it gets better so always practice so i'm just moving around and see the little, uh, the little errors that I failed to brush. So always take your time, look at the picture, analyze it, where are the errors that are left behind, and then you carefully brush the areas. So if needs be for you to lower the size of your brush, lower it to the areas, uh, lower it to fit the areas that you are trying to brush. Like these areas of the eyes, lower your brush, you can see the side of the eyebrow as you can see so just lower your brush and mix these areas but if the areas is big also increase the size of your brush as it will give you better result all right let's brush the top of the knots the nose All right, I think this is good. Let's zoom out. Let's check back our high FS and then let's do before, after, before and after. So after brushing, after making sure you brush every single area properly, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we are selecting our color correction. We select our eraser and then our flow and opacity at 100. And then the brush type, we are just going to select the soft round edge, not the hard round edge. And then you carefully brush over the size of the face and erase uh, the effect of the brush uh, of the mixer brush that touch these areas remember we, are, we only need the effect of the mixer brush on the skin so areas like the side of the face uh, where her hair is all these areas we don't want the effect of the mixer brush like the side of the face as you can see and then you also zoom and make sure you also erase the part of the lips as you can see, I'm recovering details around the area. Yes, and then the part of the nose really here. Make sure we recover the shadows, as you can see. And then we move to the eyes, the eyebrow, 
and then the other side also the other eyes all right so let's zoom out and see before after before and after so the next thing that i did is i balance the exposure by going to my adjustment option here and then i select on levels i hold my alt key and then i slightly slightly drag the levels slider here by the right and push it to the left and uh stop immediately i start seeing reds on the face not the veil i mean the face so i think this is a good spot to stop and then i let go and then i also make sure i'm selecting my level layer mask uh, uh layer mask here and then i press command or control i to invite invert and hide and then i select my normal brush i make sure i toggle to white foreground my opacity and flow at 100 and then i brush over and reveal the effect of the level just on her face as you can see on her skin and her neck also so let's do before after before and after and the last thing that i did is i add my uh skill load by going to adjustment option here and then i select color lip up load 3d reload load 3d load and then i use the first load over here so let's do before after before and after so let's do the overall before and after of the image before after before and after so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and leave a thumbs up as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel see you on the next one